Well, I'm the Toucan guy, and for some reason you were watching my videos, which completely suck ass, and I don't know why you're watching them. But, in the case that you actually do like them, here's a commentary of Day of Defeat Source. One of the best World War II first person shooters ever created by Valve using the Source Engine. And, yeah. The owning this game also gives you access to the Source SDK, but because that T because TF2 also gives you access to that, there's if you just want the Source SDK, get TF2, because it's free. I just randomly start shooting up in the air, okay? <clears throat> yes, um... So what this game has that other Valve games, such as Team Fortress 2 and Counter-Strike, do not have are... The fact that there is a sprint feature. This was, in fact, in Half-Life 2, but if... N <clears throat> Another cool feature is, not, not really a feature, but if you are playing as the class with the heavy MG, the heavy machine gun, if you fire it without it being um, stationed or whatever, the heavy, like you deploy it, if it's not deployed, it will, after one shot, you will immediately be looking up at the sky, which is as far as possible possibly look up in this game and it will take away your sprint thing which in this game is called fatigue whatever the hell that means I'm probably saying it wrong but I don't care but <clears throat> yeah in Day of Defeat Source you also do not have very much health and that's basically one shot and you're dead especially with the sniper rifle which is overpowered. On the American side, obviously, you have the weapons include the Thompson, the M1 Grand, the Springfield Sniper Rifle, the Bar, the M1A1, and the Bazooka, and also a frag frag grenades, smoke grenades, and a pistol. Prior to this one? Also, <coughs> also on the German, well, on the German side, there's the Luger, a machine pistol. Don't know why that's there. The MP40, the um, Kern 98, and um, I think that's it. Oh yeah, and also on both sides, there's a shovel that you can hit people with. But only the rifleman class has it, and the Americans are a little overpowered because the um, <coughs> the rifle class has a semi-automatic M1 Grand, and the German, on the German side, the rifleman has a bolt-action Kern 98, with no scope, and they both have a shovel, rifle grenades, and a pistol. The assault class is the SMG, the pistol, smoke grenade, frag grenade, which is on both sides. The Thompson, the MP40, and there's the rocket class, which has the Panzer Shrek or the bazooka. On the Americans, there's a semi automatic. One A one, and on the German side there is a a machine pistol for some reason, like a fully automatic pistol for some reason. It's like mini MP40. And yeah, <clears throat> basically what you have to do in order to win the match is not kill the uh, the enemy team. You have to capture all of the flags. The middle flag requires two people to capture, and the other flags only require one person. Meaning that if you're in 1v1, the game will never end unless the time limit runs out. And the way it works is to determine the winner of a match. It's kind of like Counter-Strike with rounds. 
However, though, actually, no, it's just whoever wins the round, it just wins that round, keeps no track of how many rounds each team wins. It's just, ooh, I won. It, it wins. U.S. Army wins this round. So, yeah. Let's spin the Toucan guy here with 